Hi, what's up, you guys? This is your girl So with with Brit, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn how to make the double circle skirt. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you guys the pattern making and sewing technique for the double circle skirt. By the way, I have a separate tutorial for circle skirts, and I will put the link here. Anyway, to learn the pattern making and the sewing for a double circle skirt, make it sure to continue on watching this tutorial to see the full creative process. Here are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Dress form. I will be using my half scale dress form but I will be demonstrating the pattern making by the full scale. Pencil. Lots and lots of pins. Pattern papers. Fashion rulers. Measuring tape. Fabric and paper scissors. Fabric. I am using Duchess satin. Horsehair braid for the hem. And of course, my trusty sewing machine. Step 1. Waist measurement and radius formula. First, let's get the full waist measurement of our dress forms. Or, if you are making the skirt for yourself, get the measurement of the smallest part of your waist and record the measurement. The formula for the double circle skirt is times 2 of the formula of the full circle skirt. For example, 6.28 is the formula for the full circle skirt. I am going to multiply it by 2 equals to 12.56 and this will be our formula for the double circle skirt. For my own dress form, the full waist measurement that I got is 24 for 8 inches. I will divide this measurement by 12.56 so the radius for my skirt is 2 inches. For the length of my skirt, I'll be using 20 inches. And by the way guys, remember to use your own measurements for your skirt. Step 2. Drafting the skirt pattern If you guys can notice at the other side of my pattern paper, I left a 1 inch space here for my sewing allowance, but let's leave it like this for now. Like every other circle skirts, we are going to draft the ridges from the tip of our paper. Mark down your ridges measurement, making a curved cone shape like this one. Next, from the ridges, mark down the skirt length. The skirt length that I'll be using is 20 inches. Label the side without the sewing allowance on fold. And going back to the other side of the pattern paper, I will be marking out 4 eighths of an inch for the sewing allowance. It's easier for me to put the sewing allowances this way. And next, put 4 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance from the waist ridges. And there you go. After we've drafted our patterns, we can now move on to cutting. Step 3. Cutting the skirts Since this is a double circle skirt, we have to cut the pattern twice on our fabrics in order to achieve the flares or flounces for the skirt. First, let's fold our fabric lengthwise, salvage to salvage. And fold it once more crosswise, like this one. Next, place your pattern on the bias on the folds of the fabric. This will be two layers. And by the way, don't place the pattern on the selvage. We must cut the first skirt from the folds of the fabric. Next, pin everything in place and cut out the extra fabric from the hem and from the ridges. Step 
And there you go. The result is a full circle skirt. Now, let's cut through from one of the folds of the skirt, like this one. And this seam right here will be part of our side seams. Next, let's cut the second skirt. Same procedure as the first skirt, but this time we will cut through the other side, the one with the sewing allowance, and the other side will stay on the folds of our fabric. Cut out the extra fabric from the hem. and from the regions. Ta-da! So I have another full circle skirt, but this time I cut it on half. So now I have three pieces. One piece as my front skirt and two pieces as my back skirt. I chose to do this technique of cutting so we can have an option to add pockets on the side seams and the zipper will be located at the back seam instead from the side. Step 4. Sewing the skirt First, I will attach the side seams together, right side to right side. After that, I am going to give the seams a press for a clean finish. I will leave the back seam like this and I will go back to it later. Next, I will attach the horsehair braid on the hem. I will sew the horsehair braid on the right side of my skirt by 2 eighths of an inch. This will take you a little while to sew since the hem is circular and it demands time. Just be patient. Once I am done attaching or sewing the horse hair, I will give this a press. To press the hem, place the skirt on the wrong side and fold the horse hair from the right side going to the wrong side. As you can see, there will be a fold in about 2 eighths of an inch and we will press this fold to give it a clean finish. Once we are done pressing, we will attach together the back seams or the seam where the zipper will be located. Leave about 8 inches down from the waist and start sewing from this mark. After that, I am going to give the back seam a press for a clean finish. If you guys are wondering, I didn't sew the rest of the horsehair braid on my skirt. To sew the horsehair properly on the skirt, let's pin the horsehair directly onto our skirt and we will do hand sewing. I will do a catch stitch to give my hem a clean finish. I chose to do hand sewing since sewing the horse hair directly on the sewing machine can deform the shape of my hem or the flares or the flounce. Make it sure when you're doing a catch stitch, don't make the stitches too obvious on the right side of the skirt. Make it less visible as much as possible. This will take a long time to sew, so patience is a must. So there you go, clean finish. I'm just going to attach this skirt to a basic bodice and let's see how it will turn out. Here's my finished double circle skirt. I love it. I love the result. 
the double circle skirt is perfect for prom dresses and wedding gowns. This is my go-to circle skirt for my clients who want to have a gown inspired by Michael Sinkle or Zuhair Murad. You can really see the major difference from a regular full circle skirt. And as I've said earlier, the double circle skirt has more flares or flounces to it, which makes it even more beautiful to look at. I am really satisfied with the mock-up. Anyway, you guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to make a pattern and how to sew the double circle skirt. I also hope this tutorial can help you with your upcoming sewing projects. If you are not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, Sew It With Brit, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Abiento! Thank you.